Hey guys, welcome to another video and we have something amazing available for the Xiaomi Redmi K20 Pro just a few days after we had it for the Pocophone F1. Yes, we are talking about Pixel Experience based on Android 11, the first initial build. Now, this is a beta build. They are saying that there might be some things which might not work, but guess what? I installed this like 10-15 minutes back. I've just had a quick spin around and it is really, really interesting. But before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video you can click on the link mentioned in the description to join our telegram community we can have a lot of fun there as well and if you think these daily uploads this grind is worth the effort please click on the join button and join the channel as a valued valued member now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash. Let's get going. So first things first, let's actually have a look at the build details. Now, I'm really, really excited for this because K20 Pro is my daily driver and when one of my favorite ROMs gets updated to the latest Android version, it adds to the excitement. Now, as you can see over here, this is Pixel Experience based on Android 11. Now, the security patch is November and this is the build number which is mentioned over here. And this is the kernel that you have over here. More or less, this is a very, very stable build. We'll talk about the features and stuff like that. So first things first, as you can see, the highlight of any Pixel Experience ROM is that it is very, very smooth, very, very subtle. It comes with the stock Pixel Experience launcher if you go to home settings. And even if you click on about, it says version 11 and stuff like that. Apart from this, it does come if you go to styles and wallpapers over here real quick. There you go styles and wallpapers it does come with a bunch of pixel-esque wallpapers which you'll really really enjoy so you know it really makes your phone feel like a real real pixel device and to add to that it does have some customization so that is just the icing on the cake now apart from this to the left you have your google feed if we go to say the multitasking menu you do have android 11 goodies over here Say you can take a screenshot from here, you can share, edit, you can do whatever you like with that particular screenshot. Apart from this, you can click on select and it will just select all the text. You can tap on any of the text and you can directly either search or maybe share from here. You can enable nearby share, you can copy it to the clipboard. So yeah, Android 11 features working like a charm and as you see, this is an initial build. I'm just showing you around. This is, you know, like one of the first few features that I've shared with you and it is snappy. It is running super smooth. The animations are there. Even if you see how quickly it opens and how quickly it goes back with the animation, the whole thing coming together. You know, now that we've talked about the launcher, let's actually talk about the notification panel. Now, as you can see over here, it has these default tiles that are there but you can of course click the edit button and you can add a bunch of options like the dark theme the bedtime mode and a bunch of other things like anti-flicker and live caption so all the android 11 goodies are a part of this particular rom but something that is really really a good highlight is screen recorder now as you can see over here it allows you to record via microphone it allows you to record via device audio and it allows you to you record using both as well and you can just click start from here and you can see if your device is lagging while using the screen recorder or not. As you can see, the phone is recording the screen with the built-in screen recorder and I don't have any lags. And to stop the recording, you can just tap over here and it would stop the recording. And as you can see, it would say, screen recording saved you can share it you can edit it and you can do a bunch of stuff also to the left and right over here you do have the google assistant shortcut hey google works perfectly fine in this particular rom and the google fade to the left is pretty pretty amazing as well next up subtle differences over here if you have a look this is the volume panel over here and 
This is the live caption feature. You have a shortcut over here. You can enable or disable it. And if you go to the volume panel again, you will see that this is how the volume panel looks. If you click, you can go to see more and it will give you all the options of audio over there. Now let's quickly dive into settings and have a look over here. Say if we go to Wi-Fi over here, we are connected to Kratos 390 click on this and this is the new menu that you have over here we are using the 5 gigahertz mode so 5 gigahertz wi-fi and 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi is working perfectly fine you do have wi-fi calling and you do have a bunch of other options as well you also have the auto connect feature which based on per wi-fi you can decide if you want to automatically connect to a given wi-fi network or not which is really really neat now next up if we you know move on and going down you see this is a dedicated menu for connected devices wherein you can manage your paired devices so just like android 10 you will you know if you are pairing your bluetooth peripherals you will see that it shows you the battery percentage for that as well now if you go to apps and notification there are a lot of things that have changed over here for example if you go to conversation you have the priority mode conversations and it really really prioritizes conversations really really well so that feature works flawlessly and if you go to notifications you have different sets of permissions and you also have the option to disable all the permissions or revoke all the permissions of a particular app if that particular app is not used for a long long time now next up let's talk about the battery situation over here the phone is not charged it is at you know around 15 percent but as you can see over here you do get the stock asp styled battery user interface so in the battery section you do have your optimization profiles also known as your thermal profiles and you can choose from these options like no optimization performance browser so if you have a game you can choose performance or you can choose games and the battery would act accordingly so a very very intelligent android 11 feature is baked into this particular rom now another neat addition that we have over here if you go to battery saver you do have a extreme battery saver for you now this has been an option which has been available on samsung series known as the ultra battery saver and recently xiaomi's miui devices now this is really really nice for amoled devices because when you put the phone in extreme battery saver mode say let's actually go ahead and enable this and turn on now so as you can see over here to extend battery life most apps are paused and won't send notification so you know we can go ahead and turn that off but the extreme battery saver mode basically throttles your phone extremely and it extends your battery life now apart from this you know when we move on to the display section you do have all the android 10 goodies that were available and a few optimizations here and there but this is not exactly a full review this is a first look so in display you don't really have any major major changes when it comes to the pixel experience 10 versus 11 you can you know go ahead and enable or disable the dark theme based on the time of the day and stuff like that so that is something that has been there moving on if we move on to the sound option you do have a ton of options over here and as you can see you do have the mi sound enhancer as well although this is a custom rom named pixel experience so you do have live caption you do have you know media show player hide player when the media session has ended and set of advanced you know options available there in security as well if you have a look you do have the google play system update and all other sorts of things so before we actually go ahead and wrap up this video we're going to talk about the core components of this particular rom and if they work perfectly fine or not the phone application works absolutely fine the messaging application the camera that we have is a very very basic google camera it doesn't come with gcam or anx camera we will probably check that in the full review but apart from this as you can see the overall responsiveness of this particular rom is amazing i will probably make a a full review and a dedicated gaming review of this particular rom so we will cover a lot of details about this particular rom when we do a full review but all in all what i would like to say here is i did try making calls wi-fi calling worked video over wi-fi worked and in the first initial impressions that is what this video is about the rom looks solid you can definitely go ahead and give it a try i'm in two minds over here whether to review this or review android 10 based pixel experience 
let me know in the comment section i will probably go ahead and put on a poll on the telegram community so if you want me to review pixel experience based on android 10 or 11 with the 5 point rom review system your votes will decide this was the quick you know first impressions of pixel experience based on android 11 for the k20 pro let me know how did you like this video until the next one this is kailash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye